So over here, you can see that I got two clips over here on my work area, and you can see that there's yellow and orange line on top of it, meaning that they are not rendered and the playback might be slow. So if you want to go ahead and render them for a temporary preview, then you can go around on the timeline menu and render the work area right here. Once you do that, what happens is that those particular clips will be rendered out and depending on, um, uh, depending on uh, the amount of video clips right here, it might uh, take some time as well. But you can see that it is being rendered out right here, just like this. And now what happens is that the playback will be much more smoother right here, just like this for those particular work area. If I were to go to timeline right here, you can see that I have an option to delete render rendered files as well. So if you want to save out some space or you're running out of space or you want to delete the rendered out files for some reason that you want to re-render it or so forth, then you can delete the render files as well. I press OK and they are not rendered again. You can also go around and delete rendered file for all projects and in that case, all of the temporary rendered file for all of the projects right here will be deleted as well. And of course, you can re-render it out when you like. So that is how you can work around with the rendering of work area and then also delete rendered files inside of Adobe Premiere Elements while working around with projects. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.